Hello everyone, my name is Mr. G. Welcome back to Monsters of the Past. In this episode, I am here in South America to talk about today's subject. It was a theropod even bigger than Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's the one and only Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus, not Gigantosaurus, that was a different dinosaur altogether, means giant southern lizard. It was a member of the Cacarodontosaurs, which were a group of dinosaurs characterized by having teeth very similar to that of modern day sharks. Giganotosaurus was a carnivore, and it lived during the late Cretaceous all throughout South America. Giganotosaurus was around 43 feet long, which although that makes it bigger than T-Rex, it wasn't by that much, and it certainly wasn't, wasn't as big as media likes to portray it. Giganotosaurus was a hunter of sauropod dinosaurs. Unlike T-Rex, who had teeth designed for breaking bones, Giganotosaurus had teeth designed for slicing flesh. Paleontologists think that Giganotosaurus hunted by tearing chunks of flesh off of its prey, causing fatal amounts of blood loss and infection. Because we have evidence that a close relative hunted in packs, and considering the size of its prey, some scientists think that Giganotosaurus itself hunted in packs, but there is still no direct evidence of it either way. There are still a lot of questions about Giganotosaurus, like what its growth cycle was. We have a pretty good idea of T-Rex's growth cycle, considering how many fossils we found of it, but because of a lack of skeletons, we have, we have little idea of what Giganotosaurus's growth pattern was. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's look at the card. You know, I never got why red is such a popular color for theropod depictions. I really don't. Seems like it would stick out like a sore thumb if you're trying to sneak up on something. But besides that, there's nothing really to complain about here. We only know Giganotosaurus from one fossil, so there's not really much that could have changed. The only thing that's really changed is that a Giganotosaurus is no longer the biggest theropod dinosaur as the card claims, as a few years later Spinosaurus skeleton was reevaluated and it's concluded that it was way bigger than Giganotosaurus. So, overall, I give this card an 8 out of 10. Despite only being discovered fairly recently, Giganotosaurus has already made a name for itself in pop culture and has appeared quite a bit, so let's look at some of its appearances. In the Jurassic Park franchise, Giganotosaurus has appeared in the Game Boy Advance game Park Builder, as well as the mobile games Jurassic Park Builder and Jurassic World the game. It also appeared in the console game Jurassic World Evolution, and according to interviews, Giganotosaurus is planned to appear in Jurassic World 3. The Giganotosaurus plays the role of the main antagonist in Land Before Time 5. Giganotosaurus was the subject of an episode of the spin-off of Walking with Dinosaurs chased by dinosaurs. Giganotosaurus appeared in the video game Dino Crisis, where just like the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3, it makes its entrance by killing a T-Rex. Giganotosaurus is one of the main characters of the Disney Junior show Gigantosaurus. This is kind of hurting my eyes looking at it. Giganotosaurus makes frequent appearances in the Turok series. And finally, Giganotosaurus appears as a tameable animal in the video game Ark Survival Evolved. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the chicken mimic. Bye!